All right. Not wasting any time with this one. We got two races. I am in what sounds like either the Gallardo, Gallardo, or the Huracan S class. That's my preferred class. And we are at Silverstone. I think this is the Gall G Gallardo. Gallardo? Jesus. Wow, that car got massacred. Anyway. So we're at Gallardo, uh, Gallardo, we're at Silverstone, the full circuit. I like this circuit, I've been practicing on it, doing a little bit better on it. Um, but this is an old race. I have like, no joke, probably 10 races just sitting uh, in the stash. I don't know why I did that, that was really dumb. Uh, I break a little early there, but we're, we're alive. We're, what, 8 out of 12? So it's a smaller lobby, but there's still enough in here that it's worth it. I think I think in uh, Forza, what was it, Forza 4, you can only have 8 cars. It's kind of crazy how far hardware has come. Anyway, we get past this Volvo. Um, all of those all CV8 cars are kind of crap on the straights. They're like... 8.8 or something so that's light work that's one thing about hoppers you really have to pick the right cars to do well so we're up on this cluster and now we are in for a really good battle so let's sit back and see what comes of it I get past that um, GT BB LM you know that that leaderboard Ferrari <laughs> from the 70s um, but he's he's gonna stay in it and we're we're catching up to this pack up ahead so we're in for a nice little battle so thankfully I didn't get destroyed on the first lap so now we're in it to win it let's see what we can do first and second are long gone maybe not long gone but far enough away that it's probably not going to happen. So we get past that um, challenge Stradal, Stradali, and we are up on this um, Scuderia, Scuderia, and this GT350. A little sloppy, a little unnecessary contact, kind of silly. They don't get uh, a good drive on that turn, so I'm able to make up the difference but now we're on the straight together side by side hopefully no one dies going into this turn we're all able to hold it together coming into this hard right yes and we're all okay i get a little bump but nothing crazy force him a little wide coming up to this right and i think he's gonna get ooh, force a little wide i take that curb needlessly unnecessarily uh, aggressive Ooh, we push that Ferrari wide I think I gave him well I don't know if I gave him room now we're coming into the maggot Beckett's section I think it's called I'm pretty good through this section usually I'm able to cover a lot of good ground just like with um, with Austin this kind of fake the they have a fake version of this and that if you can do well through the S's you can really make up tons and tons of ground so now we're on the straight they're up ahead but the way they're driving it's possible I'll be able to make up good ground so able to cut down some of the distance a little bit we'll see if we can make up some more through this section now, if this is the, I think this is the um, Gallardo, because the Huracan I have is just a beast in the straight line, but it's so-so it's in the turns. But the uh, the Gallardo is much more balanced. So that um, Scuderia, that let's call the F430. The F430, little reckless with the curbs. I'm not. I don't understand the line he took there that was like needlessly defensive and he's going to go for a ridiculous cutback and he's 
pretty much out of it. <laughs> That's the end of his life. So, I took that turn sloppy. Let's not talk about that extension. Uh, the GT350R up, is up ahead, but um, he hasn't been able to get away. So, I think our paces are matched. If I can just race clean and defend against this Ferrari uh, behind me, I should be good. He's definitely got me in the turns, and we'll see ahead just how much he has me in the turns. I take that curb better, get good drive out of there, but man, that Ferrari, that uh, GT350 is really killing it up ahead. Getting a little aggressive on that curb, but we're okay. And now we're coming to my favorite part of the track. Let's see how much damage I can do. Now, man, that Ferrari behind me is, he's holding it down. So, looks like the Mustang succumbed to the pressure a little bit, ran wide, got terrible, terrible drive, terrible, terrible. He tries to force me wide, but I hold my ground, make a little contact just so let him know that uh, I'm not taking it. And I take a defensive line into this right. He's not having it, but doesn't matter. Uh, so now we're three abreast. He pushed me wide, so I'm taking that. Okay. I take a little defensive. Actually, no. I go wide to leave room. But we still hold it down. And that Mustang is demoted to fifth. Now, look at this. Look how much <laughs> he bumps me about five times. But we are just over the line in third and uh yeah we take the podium so take the bottom spot on the podium fun little race there we get the lap times we were all pretty close so it was a fun race not too bad so now we go to road america and this is definitely the hurricane jesus look at this launch this is crazy. Look at this launch. I made up like six spots or maybe 10 more. But anyway, I get, I'm so like ecstatic with that launch. I just knew completely into the first corner. So sorry about that. So we went from like 12th to six back to 12th. Probably even lower actually, but it's okay. Not sure what that was about. It runs me off. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's still early. I'm still mostly alive. And he's dead. Wow. The talent in this lobby was just. It's just amazing. We'll see uh, what we're able to do. So right now, I'm in 13th place. 13th place, right? Boom. Okay. Someone just went off, well, two people went off, so three people went off, sorry. Up into 10th. Go a little deep there, no biggie. Um, coming through this fast right. Got another one, nine. Um, get past okay, ninth, this guy runs me off again. <laughs> it looks bad, but. It won't be, trust me. This is gonna go my way. So, oh, was I up into eighth? But got bumped off, so it's okay. This is the regular one, I think. No, this is the one with the little chicane here. I think I go a little deep here. They go way deep. Um, they all get terrible drives, so I keep my momentum up. We're past that Viper. He was dead anyway because uh, that car is for the turns and this is a straight line speed track. So I didn't know where he was going. Doesn't matter. I let him live, I think. Yes. So he uh, kept his position. I kept my position. No biggie. Um, now we're starting the third lap. I don't know if he slowed down there on purpose. I don't know what that was about. Doesn't really matter. So now we're on to lap two. We skip ahead a little bit because nothing really happened. Caught up to this group ahead. Again, another Viper with no top end and no acceleration. He's mint me. He's dog chow. Bye bye. 
Um, and now we're back up into eighth. So he uh, breaks in a straight line, which I'm thankful for. Bumps me, which I'm not thankful for, but I'm still on my line. No biggie. I think I go a little deep here again, but we keep it on the track. And I fooled him. <laughs> he thought he could take the same line, but he does not use his brakes. So he's dead. Up into seventh now from I think 13th. We're all the way down to So no biggie. We catch up with this group. And keep in mind, this is after going off, I think, three times. So the fact that I'm able to catch up to them, again, speaks to the level of talent in this lobby. Viper is able to get around me on that, um, that long right. And they're all able to take it pretty clean. I don't have much faith that they're going to survive, though, because... When you have this level of talent and a bunch of cars together in a confined space, what do you get? Lots of tire smoke and people in the grass. Like run a little deep. No biggie. Viper holds his position. He's not doing too bad. He just picked the wrong car. Uh, we took this fast left. Take a decent line. And I think we nail this right. As it's a viper up ahead. But again, it doesn't matter because he has no top end. So I'm going past him like he's standing still. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And we are on to the final lap. So we are in fifth place now. I think I really think I started the race in like 17 or something crazy like that. And I've been off twice twice or three times multiple times it's crazy so we have another i think bike park ahead but that's one of the newer ones so he's got his top end i'm i'm pulling but i'm not you know killing him but let's see again i'm able to catch up to him despite having been off multiple times maybe he's been off too but, I don't know, we'll see. So, we get through those two lefts, not too badly. Coming up on this fast right. I can see third up ahead as well. And now we're coming to this uh, 90 degree left. Ooh, that was my fault. I think, I, uh, I don't know. I would have made that. I would have made that. Anyway, we cut ahead to the end of the third lap. We're behind third. He goes deep. I go deep as well. Um, I'm not close enough, obviously, to make a lunge, but I am close enough to capitalize on a mistake. And he makes one. Oh, man. And with that, I am able to take a and that's the end. So that lobby kind of gave me a gift. I feel like I could, I definitely could have won if uh, I hadn't been off so many times. So that was fun. Anyway, that's uh, two races I have today. We got a lot more coming. Uh, I don't know what order I'm going to load this in, but you know, comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the uh, 